宾朋友，大家早上好，晚上好，欢迎各位来到由永续未来前沿技术促进中心主办，农业农村部食物与营养发展研究所支持的中国全球蛋白创新对话，全球与中国细胞培养肉产业发展与展望研讨会会议现场。相信这次研讨会一定能够取得丰富的成果，碰撞出更多的思维火花。我们希望通过我们共同的努力，能够助力食物系统的可持续转型，加速实现 1.5 度的温控目标。Technology improved practices providing safe, wholesome foods for consumers, and working together we can do that. What this convergence allows us to do is to look at these alternative source materials, plants, microorganisms, and animal cells, and Combine them with these modern food technology. We want to see companies make money,、um, because only if we have a healthy industry and, and viable um, um, setup in in the in the industry can we ultimately see food system transformation happen. There is a new evolution in technology happening to the meat industry. One in which you don't need a live animal. Personalized food production. Uh, uh, extraction of greater functionality for from similar or same level of ingredients, and so technology being applied in that way and providing scalable, healthier solutions for people. As investor ourselves, we seriously paying attention to consumer preferences. At the end of the day, so that's all matters, right? <laughs> I think we're very excited by by biotech, not just in replicating the current food system as we see it, but also in teasing out. What are some, you know, high-value, high-functional ingredients? And I think there's another level of, of this technology convergence that's going to happen.、Um, as a result, we see an opportunity for、um, consumers to be attracted by more innovative products.、Uh, we also、um, see、um, Chinese consumers being attracted by plant-based products that really are tailored to the Chinese market and Chinese taste. And that's something that was brought up in earlier. Fourth, we do it in a way where consumers are accepting. 欢迎更多的这个来自于企业、科研、和政府啊，还有金融金融领域的各地一些官方加入到我们的平台，然后跟我呃和这边一起呢，共同推进产业和市场的快速发展。啊，也期待着下次呃我们的见面。谢谢各位，谢谢各位的参与。